Lexi, as a pharmacist in the ER and the ICU at Mountain New Medical Center, what do you tell your patients about the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine? When it comes to the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine, um, usually somebody's in one of two different camps. Um, the first being that vaccines are safe and effective, and then the second being that there are potentially serious uh, side effects associated with the vaccine. And usually at that point, what someone tries to do is to figure out which one of those two groups of people is wrong. Um, but what's really going on is that both groups of people are right. Because when it comes to the COVID vaccine, it's not just about the risks of the COVID vaccine versus not getting the vaccine. It's about the risk of the COVID vaccine in comparison to the risk of getting COVID. Because at this point with how much um, COVID is unfortunately out there, you're likely either to choose to get vaccinated or unfortunately um, get COVID at some point. Um, so when we look at the risks of the COVID vaccine, even though there are rare, rare side effects, the chance that you're gonna have a much worse outcome with COVID is still higher. And that holds true even for the people who are very unlikely to have a bad outcome from COVID. The vaccine is still safer even for that population. Thank you, Lexi, that's, that's really helpful. And of your patients, what are some of the biggest concerns that they have? And then how do you address those concerns? I think the, the two biggest concerns that I get are um, specific side effects, um, such as blood clots, and then um, the long-term consequences of whatever decision they make. Um, so when it comes to blood clots, like there is a very small chance that with the COVID vaccine, there are serious um, but rare blood clots. Um, but the problem is you can't just look at the risk of blood clots from the vaccine you have to look at the risk of blood clots from COVID as well. And we know that with COVID, there is a substantially increased risk of blood clots from COVID itself. So much so that our patients in the hospital are not only on blood thinners, but they're often on higher doses of blood thinners as compared to non-COVID patients because of how big that risk really is. So for somebody who is concerned about blood clots, the vaccine is actually safer um, than it is to not get the vaccine. And then the other thing that comes up a lot is long-term consequences of the vaccine. And, you know, this is something that, you know, it's a new thing. It really has only been out for about 10 months. So um, people at that point are like, we don't really know what the long-term consequences are. And that's somewhat true, but somewhat not true. Um, because there have been about 2 billion in, or in excess of 2 billion different vaccines that have been administered worldwide. Um, we have good data um, to say what is likely to happen. Because when it comes to the vaccine, you are getting it once or sometimes with a booster shot. And then the, um, the vaccine itself doesn't stay in the body for prolonged periods of time. So for vaccines such as that, you might start to see side effects um, delayed by two weeks, sometimes even up to two months but the long-term consequences aren't very likely. And with the greater than 2 billion doses that have been given, there is no evidence to say that there is long-term consequences with the vaccines. And again, you have to look at what the long-term consequences of COVID are. And we know that there are potentially long-term consequences of COVID, both for mild cases of COVID and for severe cases of COVID. So for people who really are concerned about long-term side effects, there is no data to say that there will be long-term side effects with the vaccine, and we don't anticipate there will be, but we do know that there are long-term side effects with COVID. And for those particular people, the, it's still the best to get the vaccine as compared to take your chances with COVID. Lexi, that is great information. Um, such powerful facts to be able to think about and consider when people are thinking about the, getting the vaccine. Um, you know, and if, if patients are still hesitant or they're still concerned about the safety, even with all of that information, um, you know, what do you, how do you address that? What do you say? And at that point, I think there still are a lot of people who are concerned. And one of the big problems is there's a lot of bad information out there and good people can have bad information. And it's really tough to tell um, who has the best information. So when there's a problem such as this, where there's so much information out there where only some of it is true, it's better to look at a large group of people who are likely to have the best 
information. And one such group um, is the group of physicians. Um, according to the American Medical Association, nationally, 96% of physicians have chosen to be vaccinated against COVID-19. And if you include the number that intend to be vaccinated, that number goes up to 98%, um, which to me is very, very compelling. So if you can just for a minute kind of put aside the opinions of individuals, either friends or family, and think about what the chances are that 98% of physicians are wrong about something as important as this in healthcare. Um, that to me is something that really speaks volumes to the fact that physicians are choosing this for themselves. And um, for anybody who is eligible to be vaccinated, I do encourage them to do that as their safest option. Lexi, thank you so much for your time today. And thank you for um, just helping us to better understand the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine. And I just wanna personally thank you for all of the work that you're doing for our patients and for our community, especially in our emergency department and our ICU. Pharmacists are a special group. They're often behind the scenes. And I just want to, Thank you for all of your work, um, taking care of our patients and our community, but thank you for spending time today with me, um, communicating about the COVID-19 vaccine and the safety of getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Your, your facts and your information are very powerful and I appreciate the time with you today.